On the May 31st issue of Home Network Help.info podcast, I cover how to sync files between multiple computers. This is going to be a demonstration visually to help you in learning the concepts. First off, uh, definitely I suggest people go to the Help and Support Center, which is off the Start menu of your Windows XP PC. See, you can go there and then type in the word briefcase and it will bring up information on the briefcase and you can actually learn all the steps. There's an overview and everything. Um, visually, I'll give you the basic steps, uh, but I suggest everybody goes here. Now, a uh, briefcase is a feature that helps you keep your files updated by automatically synchronizing multiple copies of individual files. In other words, it keeps track of the relationships between files on two or more computers. So you can, the best scenario that people have been using it lately is they create a, a briefcase, they copy the files in accordingly, and they copy it out to a small USB drive that they move to work or other locations. So we're going to give you a basic representation of this. First off, we'll want to create an actual briefcase. And you can do this by right-clicking on the desktop and going to New. This is for Windows XP, by the way. And you'll see a thing called Briefcase. Create that. It'll put it on your desktop. And now what we'll want to do is give it a name. So I'm going to call it Test Briefcase. So the second thing to cover is you'll want to decide what files you want to bring in. I've created three test files. As you see, these files actually are all blank. So we're going to create three different files. And this can work for any type of file. It doesn't just have to be documents. It can be uh, video files, etc. So we're going to copy those down. As you saw, it copied the files accordingly. So the next thing we'll want to do is we're going to actually want to, you would then at this point copy this briefcase into your secondary portable PC or a USB drive. I'm not in this situation where I can do that, so I've created a secondary folder just called Second PC, and we're going to give you a basic idea of how this works. So you'll want to copy that test briefcase up into there. Sorry, I moved it, so let's recopy. <laughs> So now we have copied the piece, the file up there. So we're going to pretend that this second PC is actually uh, on a different PC right now. So if you open up the briefcase, you'll actually be able to work on the files that you see. So there's our text doc, and as you see, they're basically blank. So we're going to actually pretend we're working on it. So we've typed in what we wanted to. We've worked on the file at work or whatever, and now we're going to save the file. Now, if you actually go back to the original documents off of the My Document folder, you'll see the file is still blank. But on the second PC, the file has the word test. Now, ultimately, you would just have to hook the drive back up and then going into this briefcase and typing and hitting the update option, it should pull and cross sync accordingly. Since I'm kind of doing this in a a convoluted fashion, I'm going to have to actually do the step twice. So first off, we'll want to update the briefcase. Now as you see, it wants to update the modified file. I've now updated the briefcase. So now we'll go into the original briefcase here, and we're going to, as we see, the text file is still blank. But if we do a briefcase update all, now, when we open the file, as you saw it said updating, now there's our word test. So as you see, this gives you the best scenario of updating the files and crossing them. It's a good simple way to keep stuff organized and moving them between two different PCs.